Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to sort my SQL table row order by using jQuery with PHP script. If you have familiar with WordPress, then in that you have seen this type of feature, suppose in WordPress admin you have to rearrange menu item by drag and drop and whole item order has been automatically rearranged. This type of feature we have learned in this video tutorial, we will arrange my SQL table row by using jQuery sort table method, by using this method we can drag and drop HTML element, and by using Ajax request we will rearrange table row data. This is our testing database and in this we have one page table with four table column like page head, page title, page URL and page order. In this table we have already inserted some data in this table. We will load page table data according to sorting order of page order table column and after this by using jQuery Ajax with PHP we will update this page order table column data. This is our index page and for using drag and drop jQuery feature first we have include jQuery link and below this jQuery link we have also include jQuery user interface JavaScript library. By using this we can use jQuery drag and drop sort table library on this page. Here first we want to load page table data on this page, so first we have make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name set to local lost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. Then after we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from page order by page order table column in ascending order. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this dollar result variable. Now we have moved to write HTML code so first here we have write open and close sign order list tag with attribute class is equal to list unstyled and it is equal to page list. We will use the sit attribute for activate query sort table plugin on child tag of the sign ordered list. Between this we want to print page title table column data, so we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable argument. This function will convert query result into PHP array and store into dollar row variable. Under this while loop we have type echo statement with open and close list tag with attribute it is equal to dollar row page id variable. Here we have store page id under list tag id attribute. For print page title, so between this list tag we have write dollar row page title variable. It will print page title between this list tag. Now we have moved to write jQuery code activate jQuery drag and drop sort table functionality, so here we have write dollar with unordered listed page list with sort table method. This method will activate jQuery drag and drop sort table functionality on unordered list tag with id page list. Under this method we have write placeholder option with user interface state highlight class. This option will add this class into particular list tag on which we have moved to drag and we have already set style property of this class above. Now we have check output in browser. Here friends you can see when page has been loaded into browser you can see page title list on web page here when drag any page title then we can easily drag and we can drop also. So here page order has been changed. But when we have refreshed the page all page order has been changed. So now we want to change page order number in table so when refresh the browser it will load page order according to value of page order table data.
After this we want to rearrange page order number in page table page order column on move of list tag element. So for this here we have write update option with function with two argument event and user interface. This function has been called on list tag element move and under this function we will call dayjax request for update page order table column data. So first we want to get the page id of all page which we have stored into list tag id attribute. So first we have defined one page id array variable is equal to new array. In this array variable we will store all page id get from all list tag attribute id. Now we have write dollar with an order list tag id page list with list tag as selector with each function. By using this each function we can fetch it of all listed and store into this page it array variable. Under this function we have write page it array variable with push method and under this method we have write dollar this with attribute method with id. Here we have use each method so it will get it of each list tag element by using attribute method and by using push method we have added it into page it array variable one by one until last list tag element. Here we have get the page it according to new page order and store into page it array variable. And array of page id which we have store into this page it array variable we will send to server via ajax request. Now we have write ajax request and in this, first we have write url option and in this we have write update.php page. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method and in this we have write post method. Here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option, in this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have page it array variable data to server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully. This function will receive data from data and for display alert message we have write alert with data. So it will display pop message which it has received from server. Now we have moved to write PHP code on update.php page. Here first we have make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with four parameter. After making database connection we have write for loop with condition like dollar i is equal to zero. Value of dollar i less than value of count dollar post page it array variable and dollar i value increment by one. Here we want to get the value of page id from dollar post page id array variable one by one. After getting page id we will update page order of that page id row by the value of dollar i variable. So this way it will update all data of page order one by one. Under this loop we have write dollar query variable is equal to update page table set page order table column value is equal to value of dollar i variable where page it is equal to value of dollar post page it array variable with dollar i index. This query will update page order table column data on the basis of value of our A index by getting page id from dollar post posted array variable one by one. It will update all page order column data. So whole page order has been rearranged. Now we want to execute this query so we have write miscly query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This function will execute query and update page order data. Lastly we want to show success message, so we have write echo statement with message like page order has been rearranged. This message will be pop up alert on browser. So our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see when page has been loaded into browser we can see list of page title. Here we can easily move page title, so now we want to change first page title order to last. So here we have drag first page title and drop at the last, after drop we have received pop alert message list page order has been rearranged. 
so we have refreshed the page. Then now you can see here page order has not been changed that means our code is working and page order has been changed. So by using this feature we can arrange order by using query drag and drop sort table method with Ajax PHP with refresh of web page. Friends if you have any query regarding this video tutorial, you can comment us under video comment box, you can also find complete source code under video description. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. If you have liked this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.